Hello, today is Wednesday, December 29, and the talk of today was this concept around gamma walls. And, and we want to touch on that topic because it is something that is very prominent in our subscriber notes and something that we've talked about for some time. I believe we actually coined the phrase call wall a couple of years ago. And so what you're looking at here is the performance of the S&P over the last month, and you could see that after the December options expiration, which was a rather large expiration, we had a drawdown on Monday and then this vicious rally, and that rally stopped dead at 4,800. And why is this significant? Well, there is a tremendous amount of open interest at 4,800 in the SPX and 480 in the spiders. And that is what forms this idea of a wall, a gamma wall. Now, we call it the call wall because it's, it's predominantly calls that are listed at the 4,800 SPX and 480 SPY strike, and we're going to dig into the data here to explain some of this background. So if you flip over to our subscriber note, and incidentally, if you're interested in seeing our subscriber notes, you can get a free five-day trial. You just click on subscribe now, and you can get a free trial. We send out two daily notes, but in our notes, we list a bunch of levels, including what the call wall is. Now, the call wall is where most of the call gamma is positioned. We also have a put wall in a, what's called an absolute gamma strike. And all these are meant to show where these big gamma positions are because we believe that those levels are support and resistance lines. So you can see in this case, we have this idea of a call wall and it is at 4,800 and it's been at that level for a few days. Now, what's significant about that, you may ask, is that the, we believe there is a lot of hedging taking place at that 4,800 line and that effectively pins or puts a cap on the market. So when we think back to this chart about how the market ripped higher and then all of a sudden it stops dead, well, why does it stop dead? What is the actual trading hedging function we think that slows the market down and pins it there? Well, first, we want to put into context just how big this wall is. Now, you may have caught very quickly on a note that we have this interesting chart here. So we have this chart in a little bit of a bigger format. We're going to drag it down. Now, what you are looking at here is the spider gamma by strike and we're showing this on a percentile rank basis so in other words how big is this current 480 spider wall versus the rest of 2021's data well you can see that this is a very significant call strike specifically in spiders it is larger than 99.4 percent of all the other call strikes we've seen this year so it is a very very large position in spx it's big it's not this big we have an alternative view of this. And if you head over to one of our subscriber pages here, we have a whole bunch of different ways to look at the options set up in the S&P 500 as well as the NASDAQ. But we wanted to show this specific chart. Now this is the 480 strike here. You can see how prominent that is. It is a massive level in the spiders. And not only that, a huge portion of this expires on 1231. So if we scroll down, we actually group this by every expiration. And you can see that for the spiders on 1231, 45% of total as spider gamma goes away on Friday. And if we flip over to the SPX, it's a prominent expiration as well, 37%. So we're going to lose 30 to 40% of total SPX gamma on Friday. And most of that is concentrated at that 4,800 in and around, right around that level. Okay, so great. Now you understand it's a big position. There's a lot of options there. There's a lot of gamma, but what does that mean? Why does it function as a wall? We're going to simplify this as much as possible. And to do that, we're going to drag this chart down here. Now, this shows us what the gamma is versus time. You can get this from the Options Industry Council if you're interested. The simplified version of what we want to show is how does time affect this hedging flow? Now, obviously, there's a huge position, meaning there's a large number of open interest, a lot of calls at 4,800. So that provides a lot of options and that is a source of gamma. But the second thing that makes it even more of a concentrated pin or magnet area is the passage of time. And this is charm. Now this is showing us over obviously what happens over several months, but it's going to give you the general idea of what is taking place. So imagine that these are call options and as time goes by, now this is again one, three, six months, but this can also be a function of days, right? As we get closer, as time passes, gamma increases. So as all these 480 strike calls start to decay, as we move to Friday, the gamma of those positions increase. And that's assuming that we're in and around the 480 level. Now, it's also important to note that gamma is highest for an at-the-money option. So once we hit, if you recall, you know, we hit this area 
4,800 and 480 in the S&P, that means that there's peak gamma regardless of time. So once we hit here, there's a lot of gamma because there's a big position. And then as time passes, the concentration, the hedging flow at that 480 line increases. So flipping back to this chart, if you are a market maker and you need to hedge out these positions that are at 480, what this is saying is, well, a few days ago, I only had a little bit of gamma to hedge. But as time is passing and that position grows, now I have more to hedge. And if you believe like us that most of these calls are people who are selling calls short, so dealers are long, they are long these calls versus short stock. Well, every time the market goes up a little bit, they can sell. They need to hedge their delta. So what they'll do is they'll sell shares. And as the market drops, they can buy back some of their short position. This is just basic gamma hedging. And that effectively locks in that 480 area. Now, if how to hedge the gamma flows are a little bit of a new concept to you, we recommend that you go over to uh, the Spot Gamma Academy. We've just launched this service and it will walk you through everything from what is a put in a call all the way up to how you hedge gamma, vanna, charm, all those advanced Greeks. It's a fantastic course and we can't recommend it enough. And furthermore, if you're interested in about some of the statistics around how these call walls function, we provided in September a statistical breakdown of how the S&P performs around these call walls and put walls. So you can check that out. We will put this in the video description. So if you have any questions, you can also put them in the comment section below or send us an email at info at spotgamma.com. Thanks.